Proud of you. Proud of you, boy. Well, Dad, I just thought that since I am earning a decent salary under um, Headmistress McGonagall, I just assumed that. What? What did you assume, boy? That you'd come running home and I'd be somehow proud, more proud of you than I could possibly be as a father? No, it don't work like that. The things that you've done to this family in your pursuit of all things... In the pursuit of all things dueling, I'm just sick of it. I'm past the point of caring now, boy. You're a teacher? Fine, that's great. Take comfort in that. But don't use the flu network to tell me that. Unless it's something really important. You understand me, boy? Yes, Dad. I understand you perfectly. Thanks for your never-ending support. Whatever, boy. Next time you've got something to talk about, make sure it's worthy to talk about and not about some poxy dueling club you're opening. Not about turning more kids into you. Yes, Dad. Come in, <clears throat> come in. Oh, it's you, hello. You looking forward to it? Well, the first official meeting of the dueling club, Captain. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, it's all very exciting, isn't it? Absolutely. There's no one I'd much rather trust more. You showed potential when other students didn't, and I just want you to know that I'm extremely proud of all the progress that you're making all of this year. Well, the thing about you is that you've actually managed to master spells that took me at least my third year to uh, achieve. <laughs> so, so as you can imagine, I'm kind of, uh, well, I'm not going to say biased, because we can't actually choose favourites. <laughs> come on, would you like to come with me? Well, part of my responsibility here at Hogwarts is checking on the school's security systems, which basically means checking all the defensive magic around the grounds. Would you like that? <laughs> Might even be an opportunity for you to learn more advanced magic. <laughs> All right, come on then. No, it's okay. I, you know, I can't blame you for just appearing at the wrong moment. It, it, it's okay. It's fine. It's perfectly all right. Well, not all of us are fortunate enough to have good parents. <laughs> Well, 
teachers have these issues too, you know. Oh yeah. Even adults still have problems with their parents. Well, the thing is with my dad, uh, he wanted me to choose a different path. He wanted me to be a part of something that I just, I, don't, I just wasn't interested in. And he's always helped He's always held that against me. The fact that I didn't choose the same job that he did. And my dad has a habit of disliking anything he doesn't understand. Mostly shouting at it until it makes sense. <laughs> well, that's neither here nor there. I'm sure that any parent that looks after you will have their flaws. Well, all right. Why don't you... Why don't you tell me about your family? Do you have a favourite parent? <laughs> oh, I see. Hmm. All right. It's so interesting to know how similar we are to each other. Even just teachers and students. <laughs> well, it's nice to have that kind of familiarity sometimes. It allows us to connect it, you know, each other, you know, be connected. And thus, when we teach, it brings us a lot closer and a lot more, you know, there's a lot more stability and foundation in what we teach people if you get what I mean <laughs> but in any case here we are no no this will be a perfect place to start the reassessment of the incantations that protect Hogwarts well there's a lot of spells on the grounds and the actual castle itself like what? Um, <clears throat> where to begin? Um, well, to start with, we have the uh, spell to prevent people from apparating anywhere onto the grounds or in the actual castle. Mm -hmm. Professor Flitwick is responsible for that. It's a very, very powerful charm that prevents people from that. What's my job? <laughs> Well, um, what do you think I'm responsible for? What do I teach? Defense against the dark arts, exactly. So my job is to defend the school against any potentially dark magic. For example, <clears throat> Incantatum Revelia. Let's see, okay. Well, the reveal of magic, of course. Incantatum Revealio reveals all magic placed on an object. I simply, well, wanted to know which spells were looking the strongest, at least in relation to the grounds of Hogwarts. It looks as though everything is looking quite well. I suppose the protection against all offensive magic could be improved on. So let's try that, shall we? Protego Horribilis Maxima. Rapello Muggleton Maxima. Muffliato Maxima. Oh, I'm just increasing the magical energy of each spell. Can't do anything to hurt to be cautious, young one. <laughs> Would you like to give it a try? Oh, go on. It'll be fun. It's all right. You can do it. 
Hmm. All right. Um, let's give you a spell to try, shall we? Uh, why don't you try? Why don't you try Protego Horribilis? It's a protection spell against all offensive magic. Go on, give it a try. That's it. Remember your stance. Good. Keep the strong stance. Allow the magical energy to flow through you. And now. You've come such a long way. You really have. Well done. Couldn't be more proud of you. <laughs> I knew I made you captain for a reason. What are you talking about? Do you honestly think that I picked up this in my first attempt? It took me at least seven tries to get it right, but you got it almost completely out the back. Yes, all right, very, very flattering <laughs> because of my teaching. Okay, okay. Well, butter beers all round. <laughs> have you ever been to Hogsmeade? Oh, you should, you know. Wait, you do have a Guardian's permission first, don't you? Well, you actually need Guardian's permission before you can uh, head into Hogsmeade. Oh, you do? Excellent. Okay. Well, in that case, butter beers all round, as I say. Ah, I'm glad you're paying attention. You're perfectly right. There is no such thing as dark magic. Only ever dark intent. Magic is magic. You know, it exists for all of us to either make or break everything around us. Magic is simply a force of nature. It can't it can't be held responsible for its actions only by the way that we use it. And from what I've seen, you only ever seem to want to be the best kind of magical user you can be. And that is what makes me proud to be your teacher. But come on, those butter beers aren't going to fill themselves. Unless you use magic, of course. <laughs> yes, I can be very funny, I'll have you know. You're the... F you think I'm the funniest teacher? Well, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment.